Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video on how to multiply mixed numbers. So we're going to do a problem together on the first page, and then you have a chance to pause the video and try some problems on your own, and then at the end you can see how you did. Alright, so here we're going to multiply the, the numbers 1 and 1 fourth times 1 and 4 fifths. So what I've done is I've given you kind of a three-step process in, to show you how to multiply mixed numbers. But really, to get started, the first thing you have to do is change these mixed numbers into rational form. So please write down rational form in this box, rational form. And really what that means is make these numbers improper, all right? So step number one, I'm gonna convert one and one fourth into an improper fraction, that's five fourths. And that's gonna be times, and then one and four fifths as an improper fraction is gonna be nine fifths. All right, step number two, simplify the fraction and cross reduce if you can, all right? So um, these can't be reduced uh, going up and down, but if you notice, we have a five and a five, and I can reduce these by a common factor of five, right? So now, we gotta look at the nine and the four, and that can't be reduced. So step number two, multiply the numerators. So numerators are one and nine, so one times nine is nine. And then multiply the denominators, 4 times 1 is 4. And then finally we have the answer of 9 fourths, now I'm going to make that a mixed number. So 9 fourths is really 2 and 1 fourth, and that's our answer. Alright, so the steps are pretty simple. First make the mixed numbers and proper, then uh, cross reduce if you can, and then multiply the numerators, and then multiply the denominators, and then finally you'll, you'll have your answer. All right, so why don't you now pause the video and try the Your Turn Now problems, and when you're done, hit play, you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say I do with these practice problems. So the first one, you have five and a third times one and one eighth. So uh, step number one is make them rational, right? So five and one third is gonna be 16 thirds. So that's in rational form. And then one and one eighth, when I make it improper, that's gonna be nine eighths. Step number two, see if we can cross reduce. And we can actually do it two different ways. Uh, the nine and the three, we can reduce down to three and one. And then the 16 and the eight, we can uh, divide both 16 and eight by a common factor of eight. That's gonna be a one and a two. So now we can multiply across two times three gives us six. And one times one gives us one, and our answer is six. All right, the next one, two and a third times one and seven eighths. So again, step one, make it a rational form for both fractions. So, so two and a third is gonna be seven thirds. And one and seven eighths is gonna be 15 eighths. And now we can't cross reduce, actually we can't cross reduce the, the 15 and the three. So I'm gonna make this a one and make this a five. And we cannot cross reduce the seven and the eight. So now I multiply the numerators, seven times five is 35. And when I multiply the denominators, one times eight is eight. So 35 eighths is our answer. But if I wanted to convert that into a mixed number, well I know eight can go into 35 four whole times with a remainder of three. So it's gonna be four and three eighths. And there's your answer. All right, how'd you do?